He's like, selling, uh, you know, uh, waist trainers. I told you about that guy I knew from, uh, from t- Tony told me about this guy from high school he caught up with. Who's like, yo, I got a lifestyle brand. <laughs> yeah. It's called like McDavid's or something. Oh, yes, dude. And basically it was like two t-shirts, like streetwear kind of t-shirts. Sort of lifestyle that he's still, he's, This is a good story. He sells online for like 120 bucks, you know, for this shitty t-shirt. Um, and anyway, he had an Instagram account up and basically two t-shirts. Mm-hmm. And maybe stickers that he put on like right, right, polls, right, right, and then right. he's like hashtag poll, hashtag lifestyle brand, hashtag you know. Right. So anyway, McDonald's finds out about I it wasn't McDavid's. I was something with McD something, and they find out about it. They're like, well, it's our policy typically to buy all registered trademarks and brands that start McD. Are you kidding? So they like made him like a forty thousand dollar off. What? And he. Looked them square in the eye and said, I'm going to have to pass. Are you fucking joking? (laughs) Holy (laughs) shit. You know that guy's at a bar being like, yeah, they came to me. They tried to buy it, but not my baby. Yeah. I'm going to make it big with McD's. Yo, this is a lifestyle brand, bro. You know, we got t-shirts, stickers. (laughs) We got tank tops coming soon. (laughs) You remember remember Chris Berelick? Yeah. Chris Berelick was this nerd comedian in D.C. Oh, he he lives in San Francisco. Like before, everyone was a fucking nerd comedian. Oh, yeah. He was the guy. <coughs> oh fuck! We're all drinking uh, sparkling. We're drinking seltzer. bubbly water. And I'm drinking throwing up in my vodka. mouth. But uh, so fucking cool. Yeah, uh, Chris Berelick. Chris Berelick. He was like the nerd comedian in DC before that was a thing. Mm. Truly, like and and that yeah. is who that guy is. Because DC ten years ago, half the comedians were like black guys who wore Kangol hats. And woo, like, woo, Chappelle. I knew. I mean, I remember Chappelle. He was yeah, stand. Dave. Dave used to stand <laughs> right over there. And I was staying over here, and uh, and those were the days, I man. That's how I went contact. down. Yeah, <laughs> I was staying right here. Safe. I was staying right here. Me and him were boys, but you know, I he, I never looked him in the eye. <laughs> he was fourteen. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. Tony Woods called me a faggot, but that was it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so yeah, Chris, he would like. He would grab the microphone with both hands, and all of his jokes would be, and then to the all the way to the fucking castle where the princess is. Like the punchline <laughs> was always some, you know, rant or whatever. I was friends with him, but he was, you know, like fully autistic, <laughs> uh, you know, like a nerd. And there was a sh- <laughs> no on. reason. No, 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 no. There's a point to it. <laughs> okay. I'm saying it. it ties into this lifestyle brand thing. Is there was a show called Beauty and the Geek that mm-hmm. came oh, out? Yeah. And Chris at the time was running a thing called the Geeks of Comedy. It was like a tour. Uh, and he did like, I, I do geek comedy. I'm a geek and I make geek jokes for geeks. And they like performed at like uh, Comic Con and shit. And like, yeah, you know, wow. it's like that was the image he put forward. And uh, Beauty and the Geek, it was like this reality show. And on the show, they make the geeks do stand up. It's like part of the show, Whoa. and uh, you know, and then you, they pair you with like a really fucking hot woman Super, yeah. to mm-hmm. fuck, and the geeks don't look bad at all. I mean, that's like the theme of the show. It's right. not, it wasn't like mean spirited, and they approached Chris, and they were like, "You'd be perfect for the show." And he's like, ah, oh, I just don't want to be known for that. And it's like, Dude, you already are, you fucking idiot. And he, like, he turned it down. That's crazy. He turned it down, and then they asked him again. They like came back and asked him again, and he turned it down again. Did you That's ever talk insane. about on the pod about that dude you know with the t-shirt company with the hot chick with the, with the Sig? <laughs> You're, oh, who is that? No, yeah, it was some guy I went to high school with. He had like he's like he <laughs> fucking, I don't know. He just didn't really do much in college and got some bullshit degree. And then I think he like yeah, I guess eventually graduated with like a graphic design degree. <laughs> and so he started like a t-shirt company, <laughs> and his t-shirts are online. They're all fucking like, they're. I mean, they're just you know, it's the same bullshit. Was it like Marilyn Monroe or something? Yeah, yeah, that was it. One of them was like it was like a fucking. Uh, <laughs> But she had face tattoos? Nah, it was like a fucking... It, uh, it wasn't Marilyn Monroe. Who was it? It was Audrey Hepburn. Hell yeah. It was Audrey Hepburn <laughs> smoking a cigarette. And then the fucking... The title of the shirt. And it's just a picture of her and then yeah, screen printed. It, yeah. And it just... It's called like a chick with cig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was good. That's great. Yeah. Um, I wish I knew how to screen print, actually. That's like good for like merch on the road. We could learn. 
No, you can't. I tried. What do you mean? I mean, I can't. I tried. I, I, you know, I got a fucking, my roommate had a screen printer, and I tried to figure out how to do that shit. It's difficult. Hmm. Well, why are we not, why do we keep losing the issue here, which is how Cosmo. Fun, is Cosmo. Cosmo. Cosmo, Cosmo. I gave you so much gold, and you're yeah. like fucking, oh, what about this other thing? What about the turkey coop? <laughs> yeah. Turkey coop. You know what I always thought was crazy, dude? Check this out. I'm listening. They got a country called Turkey. Uh huh. They got another one called Hungary. Mm hmm. Uh, put those together. Put them together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it seems like we solve all the world's problems. Have, yeah, we'll have full yeah. stomach in one country, a uh, half eaten turkey, other country. Yeah. Um, who gets that? <sighs> Woo! Which one of us is going to be using that in their act? D uh, we'll, we'll do rock, paper, scissors for it after this. Rock, after the paper, paper, scissors. You know, it's like uh, the rock would beat paper. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just fucking... We you cover it. You cover it. That's not beating it. You cover it. Sorry. That's like, please don't... Stop, rock. Just don't do... Stop destroying all the scissors. <laughs> yeah. Stop hurting Fuck all those you, scissors. Bitch. That feels like a bit... That's like kind of like a Pete Holmesy sort of... I think it's... I think it's out there. Did somebody do I that? I think like that I've heard that. Somebody yeah. has to do that. That's why I fucking open my comedy sucks. All stand up sucks. Stand up's pretty much dead. Stand up sucks. Twitter, Twitter pretty much replaced doing open mics for me oh, like Twitter four or five sucks. years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see that. Because all those dumb, those dumb fucking like jokes that you would want to do at an open mic when you have two minutes, right? And you want to say something fucking retarded, right? 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 Yeah, that's what Twitter's for. Yeah, I don't know. You can I'm okay. So Twitter. let's let's do a thing where we go around the room right now uh, and we all say I a really... new funny joke idea that we have. <laughs> You want to start? You, go, you start. Okay. I got an idea. Go All ahead. Right. There's... Okay, so there's two different types of black people. There are black people. <laughs> All right. <and> <laughs> What's the second one? What's the They're... Second? Uh, yeah. just, <laughs> okay, no, but said, seriously. This my is, man said... My man, what? It's okay. If, you, if you're if doing a voice, <laughs> go ahead and drop the N-bomb. That's, that's, <laughs> yo, man, somebody found on Twitter it's today. It's a character. This is a good search. Yeah, you go yeah. on Twitter, and then you type in... You search for N asterisk 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 A... And it's all fucking white people being like, where are my n niggas at? They, like, <laughs> use they censor it. You know, like, so they the like, know it's wrong. Yeah. Uh, but then they do it anyways. That's pretty good. That's some extremely good shit. It is. That's good stuff. I love saying the N word. Um, yeah, I like to have the podcast come to just like just a, peter out. Just peter out. <laughs> just come I got to start off with David Cross. Our well, biggest we we use here. all our energy. Preparing for that. God, that was interview. an emotional yeah. roller coaster. Also, oh, we should let you guys know the coffee machine at the Anthony Kumia Studios is broken. Yeah, fuck yeah. So if CPXI wants to get on their <laughs> don't shit. Don't say the fucking company's oh, name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whoa, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, the, if the company whose studios I use without them knowing about it. <laughs> fucking asshole. What? They're not going to listen to it. You're right, but just don't they say They're just blowing popcorn out of his mouth <laughs> at home listening to the podcast. Huh? My company. My company. <laughs> for man children where they have rock band in the break room <laughs> <laughs>